Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about and breaking down some draft prospects the Chicago Bulls have been scouting and working out as of late. Also, talking about how the Bulls are being linked to Russell Westbrook. And later in today's video, talking about, about how Andre Drummond does plan to accept his player option. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below today's video, it takes a second and helps me out a lot. And also, leave some comments. And questions below today's video talking about all the topics i'm about to jump into also check out my last video if you guys missed it i was given a little update on lonzo ball also talking about how an nba insider does predict the chicago bulls to trade zach levine in the future and also talking about how the lakers and demar Derozan are once again being linked to one another but nonetheless let's just jump right into today's video now with the nba draft coming up i wanted to talk about some potential draft targets and just some prospects that the Bulls have been scouting and working out. Now, I'm not going to act like I'm an NBA draft expert, and I'm going to be real, I don't watch much college basketball, especially when the Bulls don't have a single draft pick for this upcoming NBA draft. Now, I will throw up this list of known players that have worked out with the Chicago Bulls, and mainly in today's video, I am going to be talking about and breaking down Tyree Appleby's game and his potential fit with the Chicago Bulls. Now, now, out of all the players and that list that I just threw up, I'm really interested in Tyree Appleby. Now, given that the Bulls don't have any draft picks in this upcoming NBA draft, more or so likely in my eyes, I don't really see the Bulls, I'd say, trading for a draft pick. I mean, I wish they could trade up maybe into the top three and get Scoot Henderson. But let's be real, I just don't see that being very realistic. Now, with that being said, I could maybe see the Bulls try and add a second rounder and try to add a young player to this roster. And with that being said, a few days ago, the Chicago Bulls did schedule a workout with draft prospect Tyree Appleby. And Appleby, he is considered the fastest point guard in this upcoming NBA draft. And he also did average 19 points per game, about six and a half assists a game, and two steals this past season at Wake Forest, where he was named ACC Player of the Year. And I'm very interested in this kid. Now, with that being said, he is a smaller guard, so that's already a disadvantage he's also an older draft prospect he is 24 years old and he does weigh about 175 pounds and he's also only six feet tall given that he's a point guard that's definitely a smaller guard and a smaller point guard especially in the nba especially going from a 6'6 point guard like lounger ball to a potential six foot guard now in this upcoming nba draft he is projected to go anywhere from a second rounder to undrafted which i believe that is right where the the Chicago Bulls could maybe make a move and given that the Bulls point guard situation is kind of a mess right now I wouldn't be mad if the Bulls did target Appleby he's a very agile skilled point guard that can shoot and pass the basketball he's a decent shooter a decent scorer off the dribble he's a solid playmaker he's a decent defender even though he's a smaller guard that can get some steals he's a streaky shooter he can also be a little careless on the offensive side of the basketball which can lead to some I'd say ugly turnovers but nonetheless, I'm definitely interested. Say the Bulls could get him for cheap or say he does go undrafted. I wouldn't be mad if the Bulls did give him maybe a one-year contract or something like that. And the next topic in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how Andre Drummond was on a podcast just yesterday. And he was talking about his player option for this upcoming offseason with the Chicago Bulls. Now, I'll make sure to throw up this tweet. Huge shout out to Daniel Greenberg for putting this out. And on this podcast, Andre Drummond did say that he does plan as of right now and as of today he made sure you know to really make sure that was clear as of right now things can change I mean the offseason hasn't even gotten started but he did say as of right now that he does plan to pick up his player option to return to the Chicago Bulls for this upcoming NBA season and Andre Drummond did say I enjoy where I'm at I love playing in Chicago I really love being in Chicago and that's awesome to hear I really like Andre Drummond I'm, and I truly do hope he does accept his player option it does seem like he's going to as of right now now with that being said this is great news not only is Andre Drummond probably the best backup center in the NBA in my eyes this is great news also let's just say Vooch does walk and they don't have I'd say backup center or starting center Andre Drummond could definitely hold down that center position for a while I don't know if he could still be a great starter nowadays but he could definitely play starter minutes and have a little role as a starter in my opinion and also let's not act like Andre Drummond is a bum you know sure Billy Donovan I don't know why he gave this man inconsistent 
consistent minutes. Anytime this man came off the bench and played, he made a huge impact off the Bulls bench, almost putting up a double double in like only 10 minutes off the bench anytime he did get minutes. Now, with him planning to accept his contract, he's only expected to make $3.3 million for this upcoming season. And I'd say with Andre Drummond, he could be a starter, and I'd say he's the best backup center in the NBA. Only making about $3 million for this upcoming season is a huge steal for the Chicago Bulls. Now, like I just did say, Billy Donovan really never gave Andre Drummond consistent minutes. I don't know why. He did play 67 games this past season for the Bulls, and in only 13 minutes off the bench, he averaged six points per game, shooting about 61% from the field and almost seven rebounds per game. Also about one assist and one steal and one block coming off the bench. Andre Drummond, he's the, one of the best backup centers in the NBA. The Bulls and Billy Donovan just need to give him minutes. And the final topic in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how the Bulls are once again being linked to Russell Westbrook. Now, this tweet did come out just the other day from at the NBA Central on Twitter, and he did report saying, per bet online at AG, the Knicks are favorites to land Russell Westbrook if he does leave the Clippers in this upcoming offseason. And the New York Knicks do have two to one odds to land Russell Westbrook if he does leave the Clippers. And then the Bulls are second right behind the Knicks with three to one odds. And I'm going to be real, this doesn't surprise me at all. The Bulls were very interested in Russell Westbrook when he did get bought out this past season. And honestly, I really thought he was going to sign with us, but it made sense. He didn't want to leave LA, his hometown. He just signed with the Clippers. And I know the Bulls being linked to Russell Westbrook is going to bother some Bulls fans. And I understand why. I'm going to be real. I don't see the Bulls going this route unless they completely miss out on their other free agent targets first, or I'd say their plan for this upcoming offseason just doesn't work out. The only way I see the Bulls targeting Russell Westbrook is if the Bulls get very desperate and they just want to add, a, I'd say, star point guard to this roster. Now, I know Russell Westbrook, he's gotten a lot of hate these past few seasons. I mean, he is getting up there in age. He is 34 years old, and he is going to be turning 35 in this upcoming November. And he did play very bad with the Lakers, but let's be real, that whole situation and that fit just wasn't good for any of those players, especially Russell Westbrook. Now, this past season, when he did sign with the Clippers, and he played really well, especially in the NBA playoffs for the Clippers this past season season. He only played 21 games, but in those games, he did average 30 minutes a night, averaging 16 points per game, shooting about 49% from the field and 36% from three-point range. He also did average five rebounds, eight assists, and one steal per night. I don't see the Bulls going this route. I do understand why they could be interested and why they were interested at the buyout market, but I really don't see them going down this route unless everything I'd say blows up in their face. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Have a good one.